currently Kirkland. Your source for city news and events in the community. With Erica Sanford at the news desk, stay up to date with weekly news reports on what's happening in Kirkland. Now, here's Erica. Hi, my name is Erica Sanford and welcome to Currently Kirkland, coming to you every week with the latest in what's going on in Kirkland. Remember the days of watching movies outside under the stars? Well, the Carillon Point Outdoor Movie Nights are back for the summer season. Outdoor Movie Nights start on July 17th in the Carillon Point Plaza overlooking Lake Washington. The first movie of the season is Star Trek. Movies start at dusk and seating opens an hour before showtime. It is recommended that you bring your own chairs because seating is limited. A concession stand will also be available offering candy, popcorn, and soda, with all proceeds benefiting HopeLink. For more information about outdoor movie nights on Carillon Point, go to the website below. The North Rose Hill neighborhood is having its annual picnic. On July 17th from noon to 4, come join your fellow North Rose Hill neighbors in a fun-filled afternoon. Activities will include games for the kids, a DJ, and a pie contest. For more information about the North Rose Hill Neighborhood Picnic, go to www.north-rosehill.org. The Kirkland Transit Center is continuing to make progress towards its December completion date. Construction recently wrapped up on the underground work and is now headed into surface improvement work. Due to the surface improvement construction, the entrance to the library parking garage from 3rd Street has been closed for several weeks. Surface work will begin soon on the east side of 3rd Street to install new curbs, sidewalks, and street pavement. Once construction on the east side of 3rd Street is complete, it will move to the west side. The single northbound lane of traffic on 3rd Street will be maintained most of the time, except when it needs to be shut down for the movement of materials or equipment. The lane will shift its location as the surface work progresses. If you would like more information about the Transit Center construction, go to the city's homepage and in the search box type Transit Center. Congratulations to the Kirkland Arts Center for their recent participation in the Partners in Preservation competition. During the month-long voting, the Kirkland Arts Center remained in the top 10 on the popular vote. Though the Kirkland Arts Center did not win the popular vote to receive a grant of $125,000, they are receiving a $5,000 grant. To learn more about Partners in Preservation, go to the website below. Summer has finally made its way to Kirkland, which means the Kirkland Wednesday Market is now in full swing. From strawberries to salad greens and asparagus to cherries, great produce is making its way to Kirkland. The Kirkland Wednesday Market features vendors from all over Washington selling everything from produce to dairy products. The Kirkland Wednesday Market takes place every Wednesday in Marina Park from 2 to 7 and is a great place to spend a summer afternoon. All the items available at the market are locally grown and made, which means you are getting the freshest items available. You're even able to meet some of the farmers. What better way is there to enjoy the fresh produce of summer? taking you to the farm to show you just how fresh the produce is here at the market, so stay tuned. For Currently Kirkland, I'm Jennifer Wilson. If you want to find out more about the great offerings at the Kirkland Wednesday Market, just go to www.kirklandwednesdaymarket.org. The Kirkland Arts Center has a new interactive exhibit which opened in June. The Lynx Invitational brings together 12 artists to form a playable nine-hole miniature golf course. The exhibit is free and open to the public and lasts until July 29th. The exhibit will also host a summer party event to bid a friendly farewell to the Creative Greens. The party and closing ceremonies will take place July 24th at 6 p.m. and will include entertainment, food, and a competition to win the Lynx Masters Green Jacket by having the best golf score. And don't forget to dress in your golfing best. Guests are welcome to join in the wildest golf attire contest. 
this is sure to be an event that you won't want to miss. For information on how to get tickets for the summer party and for more info about the exhibit, just go to www.kirklandartcenter.org. Are you ready to wine, dine, and design? On July 16th, 17th, and 18th, the Kirkland Uncorked Festival will take place at Marina Park, featuring the finest in Washington wines, local food, and Northwest art. Kirkland Uncorked features a tasting garden where you can sample the finest wines from around the state. The Kirkland Uncorked Promenade will feature more than 40 artist booths and shopping, and City Dog Magazine's Cover Dog Model Contest. For more information about Kirkland Uncorked, go to www.kirklanduncorked.com. Kirkland's annual Classic Car Show is coming to town. On July 18th, over 500 classic hot rod and custom cars will make their way to downtown Kirkland. The car show starts at 10 a.m. and is open to all. For more information about the Classic Car Show, just go to www.legendscarclub.net. The second quarter city update is now available on the city's homepage. Just go to the city's homepage and in the search box type city update. To find out about the new city manager, construction on Juanita Beach Park, and other updates going on in the city. Remember, you can access any of our programs on the web. Just visit the city's homepage and click Watch On Demand Programming. We'd also love to hear from you. If you have a news tip, suggestion, or any comments, please send them to kirklandtv at ci.kirkland.wa.us. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.